everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own contemporary piece of art. Now, what you'll need is some paper, some nice decorated paper. I have this, this is an old calendar that I had lying around. So have a look at home. You might find some really nice um, patterned pieces of paper lying around. It could be like a paper bag that has a nice pattern on it. It could be uh, some lovely wrapping paper. I've got some wrapping paper here. Uh, you might want to have a look in magazines. You might have some nice images of magazines that you could use. Have a look around or even newspapers as well. So just have a look around and get what you can get and just collect all of your different pieces of paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick it in a collage onto a piece of card. I've got some nice thick card here, but you might want to use a bit of corrugated card. That's a card from a box. Um, yeah, so have a look around and try and find those materials before you start. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some PVA glue to my card and then I'm going to stick the paper to cover the whole entire surface of the card. Now, um, yeah, away we go. As you can see, I've covered the whole surface of my card with um, patterned paper. Now, I've left the edges that you can see coming out over the top, but you can trim away those edges upside down so you get a nice, or you can fold them over if you want, but uh, you get a nice straight line. You can see where the card ends, so you can cut that. Now, you can leave it to dry overnight or you can dry it with a hair dryer if you want to keep going but um, it should be a nice surface now no sticky up bits of paper but remember whenever you're sticking your page try and balance the colors out so i have a little bit of yellow here and yellow coming through here and the darker colors and then the lighter shades of pattern so try and get your uh, collage piece to balance with the colors um, be careful about what you put down uh, but i want you to be inventive with your um your pattern paper try and out. So now I look, this, this yellow stuff I used was um, actually a takeaway menu. So you might have um, some nice patterns in um, different uh, flyers that are being posted through your house. So, you know, be inventive and uh, just create your own little collage. Now I'm going to show you what to do next. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, let that dry overnight. And I've done one here on another page. So I'm going to let that dry overnight. Now, right, this is the next stage of the project. Uh, you should have your collage piece fully dry so you can put your hand over the top and it's not sticking to any of the paper. I have got uh, silhouettes of birds. I'm going to cut one out and I'm going to show you how to arrange it onto your page. Uh, we're going to use masking tape for this and scissors. So uh, if you're unsure with the scissors, please ask an adult to help you and please be very careful when using scissors. I've also got some other silhouettes of birds here and I'm just going to select maybe two or three to put down onto my piece of work. I will um, attach more silhouettes for you to choose from. Uh, you might not even want to use a bird, you might want to use a silhouette of something else. Be really creative guys with what you do. So I'm going to do this now and show you how to do the next stage. Now, 
I've got my bird placed with a little bit of a branch placed onto the collage. Now what I've done is I've used a little bit of masking tape and to attach it I've just folded over the masking tape onto itself so it creates a kind of, you can stick it down. So you were just watching um, on the speed up video. Um, I was arranging the birds now I was toying with the idea of putting another bird on but I think it doesn't need it I think it's okay with just the two um, yeah so you can see the way I've done that okay folding the mask and tape around on itself so then it's easy to take off again because we don't want it to be here for too long it's just acting as a stencil so there that over, maybe have smaller bits. There we go. Now, the sharper you have your image cut as well, the better it's going to look after the paint on top of it. Now, I'm going to show you the next stage of um, this project, but yeah, I'm happy with how it's looking so far. Um, yeah um may remember try and arrange it to make it look well whenever you're um putting your stencils onto the collage now this is the next phase of this um project so i've got my stencils stuck down uh securely they're not moving about and i have my collage background ready now we're going to paint lightly over the top with a nice white wash i'm going to use white acrylic for this and if you don't have white acrylic you could use um, a white poster paint or if you want to use a different color if you want to use you know yellow poster paint uh, green poster paint or whatever you have at home but even a nice wash of a color would be lovely over that but I'm going to stick with the white acrylic I've got my paintbrush here and my water here and now I'm just going to work over the top if you wanted you could actually use a palette knife now a palette knife I have one here and I was using a palette as well with uh, the PVA glue but you might want to use a palette knife and try and add textures and you know so just be creative with whatever tools you have at home you could even use an ordinary knife at home like a, a butter knife but um, yeah I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to work over the top of this and uh, I'll show you how it looks after I've finished. As you can see I did a light wash of white uh, I wanted the image to come through but not as much I didn't want to block it out completely so you can actually see with adding a little bit of water to the uh, paint you can get more of a transparent white so you can actually see parts of your collage underneath now I have up here you can see a rippled effect which is unintentional but I really like the effect of that afterwards because um, you can see more of the print coming through and it's made a nice uh, pattern so I'm going to take off this is why you used masking tape because you can take off your image that you stuck down here and just be careful you don't rip your collage we're going to lift that up like this see my little bird stencil okay. there we go so that's what we're kind of looking for 
Now, when I think about it, I maybe should have put another bird in it, but no, I like, I like the way it's turned out so far. Yeah. So that's the final piece. And that's my own contemporary little bird image now made from collage. Now, if you want, you can try other images. You don't necessarily have to try birds, but you could maybe think of other collage, other um, stencils that you could cut out to stick on. Uh, play around with it and be creative. Um, yeah, and remember to send your pictures in to me so I can have a look at them. I really like that. So yeah, I look forward to seeing what you do. Okay, bye. Thank you.